Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel or if it's your first time, welcome especially. I'm Sally, I'm so glad you're here. Today, well tomorrow for me, but today for you, we are going on an adventure. We're going to Asheville, North Carolina for the weekend for one of my dear friend's weddings. Her name is Gabby and Samuel can't go, my husband, unfortunately, because he has to travel for work. But I'm going on this little road trip with my friend Camelia and her friend Jesse, who I have not yet met, but who I've only heard wonderful things about. So I'm excited to meet him as well. We are going out for the wedding, like I said, but we are also going to spend some time just adventuring around Asheville, hopefully going on a little hike. Before we go, though I want to show you a very cute dress that I was able to thrift for the wedding and before I do that just want to ask per usual if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do hit that subscribe button it is a huge help to me and if you haven't or if you like what you see rather in this video please do give it a thumbs up that also does more than you realize without further ado this right here is the dress I thrifted for the wedding it's April right now so it's springtime it is in Asheville though and the forecast actually said it might snow so i have a backup dress just in case but this is super flowy it's like a wrap style dress it's hard to show laying down because um it wraps up but the brand is show me your moo moo which i think is an absolutely hilarious name and i got it secondhand at fairy circle in wilmington it's in perfect condition so i'm really happy about that i'm going to be wearing it with these shoes which i literally just found at rack room on a good sale I think they're super cute and my backup dress is a little more wintry than I would prefer but it's this beautiful red floral print dress um, floor length as well I think it's just gorgeous and the brand for this one is living doll which I just think is the cutest name the next day it is Gabby's wedding day today and oh my gosh like I said it's April and it has been warm um, the last week it's supposed to be warm this next week but we have got some serious snow happening so it's just always funny to see that I choose that word deliberate deliberately it's funny to see how I don't know things always go not according to plan <laughs> when it's a wedding, but I know it's gonna to come together and be so beautiful. And her family has the most stunning porch overlooking the mountains. And when it's not overcast, apparently you can see the sun rays right there over those mountains. So having a sip of coffee out here, even though it's cold and just feeling grateful to be here and yeah, share this beautiful day with them. The day after the wedding, we made our way to downtown Asheville, which is a gorgeous Western town located in the heart of the mountains. And the whole city is decorated with these very colorful murals and the coffee and food scenes are booming. 
So being the serious coffee people that we are, we of course started with that. We made our way over to Rowan Coffee, which my friend Camelia had been to before and absolutely loved. It did not disappoint at all. I just got a regular latte, which is generally my go-to when trying out a new coffee place because I need to make sure it's up to par. This one definitely was, and while it was kind of dark so it was hard to get good footage, it was very ornately decorated, a very cozy and classy environment, so we seriously enjoyed our time there. After Rowan, we started walking around and made our way to another coffee spot, although this one we just wanted to look at. We didn't actually order anything, so I can't speak to the quality, but it was Double D's Coffee and Desserts. And the reason we wanted to look at it, as you can see, is it is in a double-decker bus. Next up, we made our way to one of my very favorite places in Asheville, and that's the Battery Park Book Exchange. If you are into literature, I highly recommend you stop by if you ever visit Asheville. It actually doubles as a bookstore and a champagne bar, and one of my favorite things about it is how they have tables scattered all throughout the bookstore where you can be seated, order a glass of champagne, which they have an extensive variety of, and you can purchase a book, sit there, and just enjoy the environment. Lastly, we made our way to Tupelo Honey, a famous restaurant that I had been dying to go to for a long time, and we finally made it to. They have delicious kind of country style food. I had the old school breakfast bowl. It has eggs, bacon, crispy potatoes. It's all over grits with their homemade salsa and red pepper sauce. It was delicious, but their specialty is going to be chicken and waffles. And I didn't have that, but it looked so good. It's dusted or the chicken is dusted in this honey dust. And let's just say I'll have to try that next time because we will definitely be going back. Hey y'all, it's a few days later because I completely forgot to end the video, but I just wanted to hop on here and say, first of all, that Gabby and Joshua's wedding was absolutely beautiful. It was cold, but I think it was perfect and incredibly demonstrative of what marriage is supposed to be in terms of the ceremony and everything. So I loved to get to be there and Asheville is such a nice little place, um, such a cute and vibrant city. And I hope that y'all got some ideas if you ever go visit of some places to check out enjoy the video overall. So again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a few more kind of adventure little videos like this planned in the near future. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. But otherwise, cheers y'all. I'll see you next time.